recently I released a video where I reviewed the Keith Titanium pour over coffee maker. Makes a really nice cup of coffee but is it ever expensive? No question about it and a lot of my viewers said exactly that. Outrageous price they said. No argument here. If it hadn't been sent to me by Keith I could never have afforded to purchase one. It does make a nice cup of coffee though but it did get me to thinking about less expensive coffee makers that you can take out into the woods that would work in much the same way. If you're interested in seeing what I came up with, keep watching. Okay, before we get started, a couple things that I want to mention. First, I purchased all of the items I'm about to show you, with the exception of two which were given to me as gifts, either birthday gifts or Christmas gifts by someone in my family. The next thing is they all have one thing in common and that they all have stainless steel filters. I chose to stay with stainless steel filters for the, this reason. The Keith Titanium uh, coffee maker uses the titanium cone filter in it. It doesn't use any paper. There are many, many devices that you can purchase and take them to the woods for making a cup of coffee that require paper filters. I have them, I use them, I will continue to use them. But for the sake of this video, I just wanted to stay with things that had a metal filter, specifically a stainless steel in these cases. Uh, the next thing is they're not all true pour over devices as you'll see some of them are what we call immersion or basket type filters and I'll explain as I go along. And the next thing is is except for two of them the ones that were given to me as gifts they all cost under ten dollars. Okay before we start taking a closer look at them I need to make myself a cup of coffee. Hard to beat that Rampage coffee. I haven't found anything that I would sooner drink. Okay, let me put that down for a second. Okay, I have a bag of coffee makers here that I want to share with you. Now, what I'm going to share with you are not all the ones that I saw on AliExpress or Amazon where I purchased these. There are a lot more. There's a couple that I would like to get my hands on yet that if I do, I'll bring to you under separate videos because they're nice. They're a little bit more expensive than anything I'm going to show you here. But uh, yeah, just the same. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, these are all, except for two, uh, under $10 or thereabouts. I bought them either on AliExpress and or Amazon, and I will put the links to them in the video description blow. Again, this isn't everything that's out there. In fact, I would encourage you, if you know of other small coffee devices you would like to see me review or tell me about, then please put that in the comments at the end of this video. All right, let's get started. Here's the one I showed you a minute ago when I made myself a cup of coffee. I, this is really, I think, one of my favorites of this entire collection. It is just so simple. The best part is, I don't think I paid more than $2 for it. They are, now, if you're going to look for these on AliExpress or Amazon, don't grab the first one you see because they have a range of prices for them. Just take a look at the different ones. They're all the same as far as I can tell, except some of them come in white as well as in black. But uh, there's the filter. It's a small stainless steel, tiny hole perforated filter on that side and mesh on the inside. The body is plastic. It has little fold-out wings, and as you saw when I made myself a cup of coffee, all you do is set this over the top, put your coffee in, pour your water through, wait for it to drain through, and you're good to go. You have a nice cup of coffee. Hmm. Okay, so that's, again, I, I think I like it because it's small, and it works, and it was just so inexpensive. Let me put that one out of the way. So here is one that has appeared in 
uh, another video. I did a standalone video for this, but it, it's worth bringing back and showing you again. This is a Vietnamese fin, a very traditional way, may, way of making coffee in Vietnam. It's just a small titanium filter, or it's not titanium at all. Uh, it's stainless steel. I bought mine at a dollar store, uh, sorry, not at the dollar store, at a thrift store, but I see these for just a few dollars on Amazon and again on AliExpress. Let me show it to you. Oh, by the way, if you have watched that previous video, one of my viewers suggested, because I was commenting that uh, it was a slow, slow drawdown of the coffee, that uh, it would cool off out in here in the winter. And one of my viewers said, why don't you just make it cozy for it? I'll put his name across the screen right now, but I did. That's just a little time tiny reflectix cozy around the outside. So here's the basic device. Just a stainless steel filter and the holes are not all that small either. So what you would do is put your coffee in this, set that over your coffee cup, place this little device on top of your coffee, pour the water in and that's it. Now it does take time for it to drain through which is the reason why it can chill off if it's cold outside. It does come with this little lid that you can put on top to help keep it warm while it's uh, draining through. It also doubles as a little thing to keep stains or coffee from leaking out onto your counter if you're using it at home. Simple and still works and again I have a video if you want to see that in action. All right it's kind of like Santa Claus reaching into my bag of toys. Oh here's one. Also, this is probably the second least expensive one on the list, maybe the, the least expensive. It's a stainless steel basket filter. This is not truly a pour over. This is for immersion uh, brewing. So what you would do is place your coffee inside of there. And yes, you could use tea if you're a tea, tea drinker. Drop this into your cup, put the water inside, and just let it steep as if this was a stainless steel tea bag, I guess. Wait for it to hit the desired strength that you want, draw it out, let it drain through, and set it aside. There is a lid that you can put on top for keeping it warm or for putting on, again, on the counter. Very, very inexpensive, and it does work. What else have I got in here? All right, so I'm reaching now for one that was one of the Christmas gifts. I'm just looking for the lid that came with it. Should have had these all laying out. There it is. Okay. So this is the MSR Mugmate. And it was given to me a few Christmases ago by one of my kids, I believe. Stainless steel basket type filter again. It has wings on the side that would support it if you put it inside your coffee cup. Put your coffee in, pour your water in. It, but I guess it depends on how tall your coffee cup is. It might start off as a bit of a pour over device, but as the water comes up the side of it, it turns it into an immersion device. Let it steep for the length of time you want, draw it out, let it drain out, and again, a lid, either to keep it warm while it's drawing down or to sit in when you're finished. All right, I say that's one of the more expensive. It was probably around $25 Canadian right now. I'll put a link to where I found one on Amazon if you're interested. It works, it works just fine. I don't know that it works any better than any of the other ones I'm showing you though. All right, I have two that I'm going to bring it out at the same time. One may be a little bit big for taking into the woods, but I thought it was worth showing you. So this is a true pour over device, again, made from stainless steel. It is a cone with super, super fine perforations on the outside, as you can see, or maybe not see because they're so small, and a super fine mesh on the inside. Place it on the top of your cup, put your coffee in, and go through the ritual of pouring water through and letting it drain down through. Now, you can, if you want, put a paper filter in this just to make it easier for cleanup, but you don't have to. That's the benefit. That's why we're showing these types of uh, filter devices. This works just fine without it. My experience is because this is double, like a mesh on the inside and perforated holes on the outside, it's a little slower than a paper filter is. So uh, take that into consideration. You may want to make your grounds a little larger, uh, you know, a co little coarser, so it'll draw it down a little faster. But yeah, just take that into consideration. It works just fine. Maybe a bit big and bulky for taking into the woods for some people. It's not, I don't carry this to the woods because I have so many other smaller, lighter devices. But the other version of it, I certainly would carry to the woods and that's this one. Again, a stainless steel cone type filter, small, small perforations. It doesn't have the fine mesh on the inside, so it's just the holes on the outside. This is the one that probably looks closest to the Keith Titanium pour over in shape and size. 
it doesn't have the device that holds it up over the cup. So if you have something that you can use to hold it over your cup, then it, it's a pour over. If you don't, you want to put it, where's my coffee? If you want to put it right into your cup like that, then it becomes an immersion brewer. It starts off as a pour over as you begin pouring water through and the water goes down through the coffee. But as the level of the coffee rises and sits, the coffee sits in it, then it's an immersion. Let it steep for a few minutes until it reaches the entire or the desired strength and enjoy. Ah, that's nice. Very nice. All right, what else have I got in here? All right, so this one has also appeared in a number of my videos. It's a very inexpensive silicone pour-over device. I bought this at the dollar store, but they are available. I've seen them under different brand names. I think UST makes them. It's just a folding, collapsible silicone pour-over device, but it does require a filter on the inside. Now, normally, I would use a paper filter, a number two Melita paper filter like this, but and you just open it up, put it inside, put the coffee in that. But trying to stay with the, st the theme of stainless steel, I found this on AliExpress, a stainless steel number two filter. Double mesh, super fine mesh coffee filter that you would put in your pour over device. Coffee goes in, water goes in, pour it through, let it drain down. Again, a little slower than a paper filter, but uh, reusable. You don't have to throw it away. Uh, you just have to dispose of the grounds in the best way possible, but it works just fine. And you never have to use paper again if you don't want to. So that was another option that I found. All right, I have one more in here. Now, this one was a gift from my family. Again, I'm not sure which one of my kids gave it to me. And uh, this is definitely the most expensive of the ones I'm going to show you today at around $30 to $35 Canadian. This is known as the GSI Coffee Rocket, and it's actually designed to fit down inside of the GSI Infinity mugs. Entirely made of plastic. Well, not entirely. Let me show you another drink of coffee. All right. So this is the hopper that the water, your hot water is going to sit in. This is the filter, and as you can see, super fine stainless steel uh, perforations in that little basket. So you'd pour your coffee inside of this, open up the three wings on the side. That's going to sit on top of your coffee cup. The hopper is going to sit on top of that. Pour your hot water in and just wait until it finishes draining through. It's got small holes in the base of the hopper that will kind of regulate the how fast the water goes through the coffee so it doesn't go through too quickly. So my only thing I'll say about this in, in terms of my experience is uh, grind your coffee a little coarse. I found that uh, I use some super fine coffee and it tend to clog up both the little holes there as well as the filter there. So a little bit of a coarser grind will, will prevent that and because it is a bit slow going through you want it a little coarser anyway. Super simple though and as I said designed to mate perfectly with the Infinity mug. But you know, honestly, I don't think it makes any better coffee than this little device does at a dollar or two. Okay, so that's all I have to show you. Let's wrap this video up with a few more thoughts. All right, I just want to wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts. So when I reviewed the Keith Titanium pour over and uh, all those people had commented just how expensive it was. Again, I agree with you. It's outside of my budget as it is most people's, but it's not outside of everybody's budget. And it's for that reason that I accepted it and wanted to share it with you. I didn't want anybody to feel that they had to buy it just because I said I liked it and it made a good cup of coffee. It does make a nice cup of coffee, but it's way outside of uh, most people's budgets. It's especially when all of the devices I showed you will also make a good cup of coffee, especially the little one that I made well, this cup of coffee with. I can't believe how well that works for, I think, like I said, dollar, two dollars is what I paid for it. Okay, again, this was not everything that I found out there on the internet. It's just a small selection I was able to pull together quickly enough to bring out into the woods and share with you. I would invite you, if you have any other suggestions, on a devices you would like me to look at, then please put that in the comments section below. If you have any comments on any of the devices or require more information, put that in the comments section below. But I will be putting the links to where all of these came from, except the ones for gifts, and I'll put links to where you can find them now. Yeah, get out and explore. and Take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.